Here we go. This outer world shown us. Scheduled scarcity is a premium feature of colonial life. The colony must never lose faith. That is what the board provides. Security in a senseless and chaotic world. This is Halcyon, the furthest colony in the galaxy. Proudly owned and operated by corporations. Everything we have, everything we are. We owe to them. They are always with us. No one has ever gone against them. They said they too real. But a stranger has just arrived. Someone who's challenging the corporate war. Someone who's digging up their secrets. Uh oh. Come on. Someone Come on. Be a villain. Or a hero. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Or a psychopath. Oh, that My time to shine. Drop kick that boy. October 25th? Is that the same day as Call of Duty? That's the same day as another game. From Ninja Theory, Ronnie Tucker Post down below with Game Dog. Spawn! At E3 2018, we announced that Ninja Theory had joined Xbox Game Studios, a move that has given us an incredible boost in achieving the creative ambition of our teams. We started Let me move this light a little bit because I know it's, it's kind of glaring. And in the near future, we'll be sharing details on all of these projects. When we joined Xbox Game Studios, we already had a very exciting game several years in the making. And we're happy to return to E3 to share this with you. That might be a little bit better with that light. As creative director, I'm stoked to be yeah, here to share our new game with you guys. It combines two of my gaming passions, third-person action combat 
and competitive team multiplayer. Our technical alpha is kicking off in just a couple of weeks and we'd love for you to sign up, get involved and tell us what you think. Or if you're here at E3, come and join us for a game. I really, I really hope you guys like it. Check it out. This is Bleeding Edge. Bleeding Edge. Okay, let's see what they got. Combat action. Characters do look cool. Buttercup. Looks pretty cool. The characters actually look really cool. What's this, the new Ori? Ori and the Will of the Wisps. It looks clean. It does look clean. Look at that owl flying in, flying like a boss. February 11, Minecraft Squad Unite. A different take on it. it looks kind of sweet.
Where's Phil Spencer at? The head of Xbox, Phil Spencer. There he is. Big Phil. What y'all got to the table? Man, my man Phil Spencer got a standing ovation. He's like, I know we the only did the last conference, but Thank damn. You. Thank you. We on Team Xbox live for this exact moment. The moment we get to share the best of our art form here with you in LA. And the moment you get to experience breathtaking new stories new worlds and new heroes for the very first time. This moment isn't just about finding some new games, it's about discovering your new games. This decisive moment of discovery is etched in your gaming history alongside your every achievement, your every moment, your every new friend. This is why we on Team Xbox are always and will be dedicated to unleashing the next new games for you to discover and love. So whether you're one of the thousands with us here in Microsoft Theater. We got a good crowd. Or one of the billions around the world who play games. Yeah. Welcome to E3 2019. <laughs> This right now is the single most creative and energizing time in gaming history. Games and gamers together now have the sheer magnitude to be a significant unifying force for the world. The expanding universe of gaming has opened a new era of creative possibility. With more games, more creators, and more industry players than ever before. And gamers were everywhere. In under two decades, the number of players in the world has more than tripled. Over two billion of us now play games in every region and on every continent. And with new technological leaps, we get to play whatever we want, with whomever we want, and wherever we want. On Team Xbox, every decision is guided by our belief that gaming is for everyone. The logo My is clean. Team and I are single-minded in our resolve to bring everyone the games they want, to connect everyone to play with the friends they want, and to empower everyone to play wherever they want. This is why we keep innovating hardware and services. It's why we're uniting communities through crossplay, and why it's why we're investing with new distinctive creators. Above all, gaming is for you. This is why we scour the world for your next new games. This today is the largest showcase of games on any stage, anywhere this year. Okay. Talk, talk that, talk it. Today, from the thousands of games in development across Xbox One and Windows PC, we're highlighting 60 games for you. <laughs> including 14 games from Xbox Game Studios and over 30 games premiering in Xbox Game Power. On that Game Power. In addition to showcasing all of these games over the show, we'll also announce what's next at Xbox Game Studios. Sharing our expansive plans for streaming, and of course, revealing more about our next new console. Oh! They so say, Sony, y'all think y'all the only one with the console? In. Project Scarlet, let's go. Start it off, boys. Some more Star Wars.
Looks good, man. Those ad ads. Song. Good in a. Who are you? Got a name? Cal Kestis. Sobarero. Here on Jedi business. Jedi day. Coming out right before the new movie, too. Wall run. His voice reminds me of someone familiar, but I can't recall. World premiere. Uh oh, got some guy in the house. Interesting though. see that and then start filming what just happened. That's why you just died. The Blair Witch Project? Making a game off of Blair Witch? Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's cyberpunk time. This game's about to be fire. <clears throat> Samurai. Real clean. And that car must be bulletproof. All right, in and out. We're rich. 
Oh, we are going to the major leagues, Jackie. Uh oh. Jack? I don't, Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. God dang, he got he got hit by a triple G right right there. Just take the f chip Dex. Every corporal cop in this city is gonna be blasting down these doors after what you and your psycho friend did. We didn't need all this tension, damn it. So finish him. Finish him. Uh oh. He's like, oh shit. Oh, whoa. She she looked like she broken. Did he get him? Oh my god, this game looks so crazy. Samurai. We have a city to burn. Keanu Reeves, <laughs> John Wick in the building. Here we go. Keanu Reeves, Mr. John Wick. Please welcome Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves is back, man. Who would have believed it? Keanu Reeves is bigger than ever. Crazy. They popped CD off. Project Red. Cyberpunk 2077. All right. A while back, the guys from CD Project Red approached me and asked me to be a part of their new project, Cyberpunk 2077. They were going on and on about how they'd create this vast open world with a branching storyline, how you'd be able to customize your character through in-game choices. And it's not something I knew before, but I was excited by. And I'm always drawn to fascinating stories. <laughs> Cyberpunk is set in a metropolis of the future <laughs> where body he's, modification he's has become stuck. an obsession. You play as an outlaw, an enhanced mercenary working in the sleazy underbelly of the city. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me tell you. The feeling of, of being there, of walking the streets of the future, is really going to be breathtaking. You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking. We're <laughs> all breathtaking. Yeah, I'm right, all right, all right. So, I guess I gotta finish this. So tell me, do you guys want to know um, when there's uh, when a, the release date? Is it gonna be this year? All right. Then check this out. All right. <laughs> All right. 
Okay. Whoa, hey, easy. Mr. Hansen, am I right for the job? Okay, I'm in. You have gone through to the other side. This game looks nuts. Is it this year? I knew it was going to be next year. April 16th, 2020. That's still a good time, man. That's still a real good time. World premiere. Hello, Stella. Yeah, that's fire now. Cyberpunk. Less than a year away, guys. Big time. Okay. Okay. Break it down. Come on. Okay. They're back. Oh, the battle toast. Lick it out, 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 lick it out. Oh. Oh, we got the racing mini games. Oh, oh, watch out now. Yo, they had the, the confetti pop off. They love some battle toads, man. The Legend of Zelda. I mean, right. Very interesting. And you can actually draw stuff in, kind of, huh? This looks very creative, man. That's actually kind of dope, man. I think hand-drawn art style is, is very underrated. Um, I think video games could definitely capitalize on it. Even though it's a lot harder to do, it takes more time. But look at Cuphead. Look at all the success Cuphead had. Um, that was another hand-drawn title. So hopefully that one does well. La 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 la!
Hey, 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 hey. After party. These are my people. Felix can dance now. Secret neighbor? All these indie games. ID. At Xbox. Please welcome head of Xbox partnerships, Sarah Bond. Bond. Sarah Bond. All the ID at Xbox games you just saw will premiere on Xbox Game Pass day one. Very cool. passion is to help you find and play the games that you love through creation, curation, and discovery. The ultimate expression of that passion is Xbox Game Pass. My team travels the globe seeking out fan favorites and hidden gems and crafts partnerships with their creators so that you can discover your next favorite game. Mind-blowing experiences epic adventures, and iconic characters, all for you to explore. It has been awesome to see the record-breaking success developers have had in Xbox Game Pass, introducing their games to new players and creating lifelong fans. Since launch, we have tripled the number of partners in Game Pass, adding more games from more genres, Platformers, RPG, adventure, sports, they said we got it and all more every single month. And of course, every Xbox Game Studios title you see today will premiere in Game Pass day one. Bring them games. We are thrilled to announce new titles coming to Xbox Game Pass on console today, including Batman Arkham Knight. Metro Exodus. Nice. <laughs> Hollow Knight. And Borderlands The Handsome Collection. Amazing games that you can start playing today. Our mission at Xbox is for you to be able to play any game with anyone, anywhere. And we know for many of you that means PC. That is why last month we announced Xbox Game Pass for PC. Today, the Game Pass journey on PC begins. Now, PC players can discover their next favorite game with Xbox Game Pass. We have curated over 100 games just for PC, including favorites like Emperor Rome and Football Manager 2019. Ugh. And for the first time on PC, starting with Halo Reach, the entire Master Chief Collection. Yes. 
also be it on PC. That's cool. Um, you know, most of these games, if, if you already have an Xbox, you know, and you want to play them, they'll be on there. But uh, it's cool that they give PC players that initiative too. Ten bucks a month, here killer deal. Now. Try it out by downloading the all-new Xbox app on Windows. And if you want it all, we have created a membership just for you. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. 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 You get everything. Xbox Game Pass for console with over 100 great games. Xbox Live Gold, an unrivaled gaming community, and now, Xbox Game Pass for PC at no additional charge. It's not too bad. And, because it's E3, everyone can jump in and play today for $1. Now go discover your next favorite game. World premiere. Real time 4K. What do we got here? I want to say Forza, I don't know though. Or well, maybe not. Well, is this a game or is this real? Yeah, it's a game, but it looks clean. Flight Simulator. The cleanest game on the damn planet. It does look crazy clean, I mean, wow. Just travel the world too, man. That'd be fire. That'd be super cool. Flight simulator. Do you remember a time when armies were built? Powerful cities collapsed. Yeah. When the smallest of choices echoed through the pages of history, it was an age, age of, of empires. empires. Talk to me. Welcome to oh, okay. I was like, is this out of rules? Home to the purple. 
Purple Mountain's last city! Oh, the Rockies! Hike through colorful canyons! Get up close and personal with a wild and woolly wild act. Visit Colorado Springs! Yo, we in the Springs too? Shout out to Colorado! What do you do in this post apocalyptic winter wonderland? Oh, that's the new Wasteland. Cool. Wasteland 3 is going to be in Colorado. Please welcome head of Xbox Game Studios, Matt Booty. Mr. Booty. Games are at the heart of our mission. Over the last year, we added seven new game development studios to Xbox. It's like, I know, right? That's a lot. To see some of these studios already sharing new games on our E3 stage, and there's more to come. I have the privilege of working with some of the best studios around the globe. And for me, great studios are about people, teams, and ideas. Our success comes down to one thing. Creating great games that players love. And great games come from great developers. That's why I'm honored today to announce that joining Xbox Studios is Double Fine Production. Double Fine. Finally gonna get a new Psychonauts. I like Brutal Legend too. Brutal Legend was a fun game. It's been a beacon of creativity and spirit in game development for almost 20 years with classic games like Psychonauts, Brutal Legend, and Broken Age. I'm looking forward to Double Fine joining Xbox and seeing what we create together. Please join me in welcoming the founder and president of Double Fine Productions, Tim Schaefer. Tim Schaefer in the building. One of the game dev legends. Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you, Matt. We are so excited to be joining Xbox Game Studios. And I'm here to personally reassure you, Matt. I don't know what you've heard, but I'm a team player. Whatever you need from Double Fine, we'll make for you. Uh, Halo stuff, uh, Forza stuff. Excel stuff, wherever you want, we are there. <laughs> yeah. Tim Schaefer. Tim, we just want you to make great games. Oh, it's such a relief because I was totally lying. <laughs> In that case, we brought a brand new trailer for Psychonauts 2. Take a look if you Here we go. Anticipated Psychonauts 2. World premiere. Alright, world premiere, what they got? 
Star Wars? This is gonna be a troll. Oh wait, it's real. Lego Star Wars. Roll it again. Kylo. All nine. That'll be a fire. Yeah, that's gonna be a fire game. Oh, Dragon Ball RPG, let's get it. I'm hyped for this one. Ah, Big Nappa, Big Vegeta. It's gonna be the whole series of Z, I hope. Looks dope. Super Saiyajin! Cool! Cool, cool! Looks clean! Looks clean! World Premiere
music. Break that glass. made by the same team that did Journey. All the gears. Uh oh. Whoa. The queen. Okay. That's cool. I like how they did that. The coalition. Please welcome studio head Rod Ferguson. Big Rod from the coalition. OG Gears team. No more Cliffy B though. Thanks everyone. We're excited to announce that Gears 5 is releasing on September 10th. Woo! Wow, Gears if you 5? Want to play four days early, you can, with our Ultimate Edition or membership in the newly announced Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. <laughs> with Gears of War 4, we wanted to earn your trust. But with Gears 5, we want to push the envelope by doing new things never seen in a Gears game before. And we'll tell you all about it this summer. In July, Join us for our Versus Multiplayer Tech Test, where you'll be one of the first to play our all-new competitive game type, Arcade. In August, at Gamescom, go hands-on with the all-new Horde mode and see how character abilities can turn the tide on the battlefield. In September, we return to the biggest Gears campaign ever, where we'll explore more of Kate's harrowing journey and celebrate our launch on September 10th. But what are we talking about today? Today, see some gameplay, Rob. Fight the swarm. In Escape, you play as one of three hive busters. You and your squad infiltrate the hive, plant the bomb, and escape with your life. Because we all know that best defense is a good offense. That's right. It's everything you love about Gears turned up to 11. <laughs> Oh, the pyrotechnics. Somebody about to rise up from the ground? The bottom floor just opened up. Ray Mysterio pops up. Oh man, this is legit. It's 
That's nasty. It looks good, bro. Let's go. Oh, time to go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Ooh, that's nasty. Uh oh, better keep running. That's kind of dope. So you gotta move. You can't stay still. That's kind of cool. You gotta keep moving. I hope you enjoy the player co-op experience perfect for your living room couch. But it's not just about busting hives. You can build them too, and challenge your friends with the experiences you create. And tonight, join me on Mixer as we challenge these three WWE superstars, Xavier Woods, and AJ Xavier Styles, Woods. and Tyler Breeze, to survive a gameplay deep dive from right here in the hive. For these at home, for the next two days, you and your friends can play in select Microsoft stores. Wow. So good luck out running the swarm, and we'll see you on the leaderboards. Oh, and for anyone who pre-orders or plays within the first week, we've got something special just for you. Fire! The Terminator. Oh man. Gears with the collab. Is this a new console? The new Elite Controller. This has been this has been rumored for almost two years now, this new Elite controller. Adjustable tension, huh? That's pretty dope. How much do you guys think the new Elite Control is going to cost? I think $250, $199 would be a good price, but the, the first Elite Controller was already $150. So definitely $249.99. If, if not, $199.99 would be a good price point. But you know, PlayStation has uh, 
their premium controllers, you know, that go to 200 to 250. So we'll see. The new dying light. Let's take a look. The first My one was fun, said, man. Uh, first one was good. I'll never forget who I am, where I come from. But in this place, nobody even wants to know my name. I'm getting attached. Yeah. Because when darkness comes, I might be gone. tore society apart, but I won't let it turn me into an animal. Staying alive became the essence of our existence, yet life must be more than just survival. Every day the disease tries to crush us and make us forget who we are, but I keep fighting. He gave it a Spartan boot. Uh oh. Spring 2020. World premiere. Oh, you know, when it's fours of time, they always bring in the cars out. What we got? Legos? What the hell? They're really doing Legos in Minecraft or uh, Forza. The Forza and Lego. Please welcome. They need to bring a Lego car out now. Oh wow, that, it actually is. It's built out of Legos. That's kind of cool. Combine McLaren's passion for design with about half a million of Lego's legendary bricks. You get this incredible life-size Lego Speed Champions McLaren Senna. Combine the beauty and freedom of horizon with the playful fun of lego you get the forza horizon 4 lego speed champions expansion you will drive this senna and more lego speed champions cars in an entirely new world packed with inventive new challenges new areas to explore man that took a long time to, to do the forza horizon 4 lego speed champions expansion launches this week i'll see you there
He's like, yeah. Three kittens. State of Decay 2, the heartland. My mission, find the father I never knew. My mission, find a hero I've never met. He hasn't radioed in days. He hasn't been seen since the outbreak. The last time I heard his voice. The last place he was seen. Was in Trumbull Valley. Valley. I've only heard whispers. They stated the cave. Of unseen horrors. Here, we are the many. Here, we can become stronger. I was just surviving. Now people are counting on me. This is where my story could end. This is where my story could begin. I thought we had seen everything. We ain't seen nothing yet. Ah, headshot. Thank them, boys. Sega. Yo, Fantasy Star? Is this Fantasy Star? I love me some Fantasy Star. Yeah, baby. I might have to get back on that Fantasy Star. Free to play too, huh? Man, I've had some of my best gaming times playing uh, Fantasy Star Universe on the 360. Or growing up, actually. It was still one of my most memorable, you know, game playing experience that I had. I played that game a ton. PSO2. What up, Big Phil? Those played Fantasy Star know that this game had influenced many of the most popular games today. So with great delight, we welcome Sega mm. back to our stage and Fantasy Star back on Xbox. Nice. As we said, our goal on Team Xbox is to bring you the world's best games. Meeting with developers, playing their games, and introducing you to their games, these are the best parts of my job. 
back at E3 2017, when I first met with the creators of this next game, they shared their ambition to bring their massively popular game with its passionate community of 650 million PC players to the entire world. I'm happy to announce our partnership with the legendary team at Smilegate. Their approach to game design demonstrates sheer creative boldness. Next year, you'll discover the newest entry in this landmark franchise. On console, for the very first time, only on Xbox. This is Crossfire X. World premiere. Crossfire. Twenty twenty launch title, so Looks interesting. I want to see some gameplay though. World premiere. Bandai Namco. What's this? I am the man with the helmet on my face. I cannot see, but I really can. Ah! Tales of Arise, huh? A new Tales game. Microsoft putting that 2020 slate out there, man. Oh, it's Borderlands time. I used to be one of them. My name is Lily, and I need you. 
It made very sure to tell you at the bottom this is not actual gameplay. There's been a lot of talk about Borderlands possibly changing their release date. So I wonder if they'll tell us in this trailer or not. Shalou. The shoot a looter, baby. Get that loot. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Get them boys. They still sticking to it. It still says September, hey, 13th. Big time. What we got here? Ooh, Miyazaki. And George R. R. Martin. Hey, this was uh was the Dark Souls ish game from From Software that, that kind of possibly got leaked. Let's take a look at this. Looks epic as fuck. Giving life its fullest break. Ha! Ah, hammer away at it. The Elden Ring. Oh, Elden Ring. Shattered. Hammer at it. By someone or something. Don't tell me. Elden Ring, huh? Do you know when From Software is making something? It's about to be hard as hell. Please welcome back. Very nice, Spencer. very nice. National studios to one person passion projects thousands of Xbox games are in development for you right now just today we showed you 60 games we a lot of are games. now experiencing an unmatched expansion of creativity on Xbox gaming for you 
means connecting all of these creators to all of you. Last fall, we announced our ambition to empower everyone everywhere to play by bringing Xbox to the cloud. We will do this in two ways, through Project X Cloud and through console streaming. Two months ago, we connected all Xbox developers to Project X Cloud. Today, we invite those of you here at E3 for our first public hands-on of Project X Cloud. Okay, that's cool. To experience the freedom to play right here at the show. And you'll have two ways to stream. There's a new platform feature, console streaming. It turns your Xbox One into your own personal and free xCloud server. Whether you're using a console in our data center or your console at home, this October you'll be able to use our hybrid gaming cloud to play your games wherever you go. Where you play is now entirely your choice. You decide. Trying to combat so with uh, the Google next Stadia. Console. Next console time. Here we go. For us, the console is vital and central to our experience. We heard you. A console should be designed and built and optimized for one thing and one thing only, gaming. The games. So the same team that created the world's most powerful console, Xbox One X, and innovated its groundbreaking processor and the Elite Controller. The same team that engineered the world-class compatibility of today's Xbox One consoles. The same team that set the bar for live gaming services with Xbox Live. This same team set out on a new mission. Let's go to create the future of Big gaming Scarlet. for you. Let's see it. I want to see what it looks like. When you think about the future of gaming, it's not just PC, it's not just console, it's not just mobile. It's really all of the above. Xbox is all about choice. We're investing in technology all throughout the game stack. The games you want with the people you want on the devices that you want. And for us, that starts with our next generation console. We don't want to build nope. just another console. We truly want it to be transformative. More immersion, more exploration, more detail. How do we make it easier for people to get into the game, to stay in the game? One of the things that gamers and developers are incredibly excited about is reducing load times. I'm yep. an RPG gamer, and so like loading screens are a thing. You're sitting there in the fake same thing elevator. Sony's been because talking about. The game's loading in the background. It's just an elevator. Whose loading times are better That's though? The whole with gaming is that you don't have those pauses. This generation is going to be a bigger leap than any generation we've done before. At the heart of our next generation console is our custom design processor, leveraging the latest Zen 2 and Navi technology from our partners at AMD. From a pure processing perspective, this is four times more powerful than the Xbox One X. We're leveraging high bandwidth GDDR6 to ensure that we're getting the best performance possible. It's going to usher in. You just resolution think like frame rates they just keep getting more powerful. Like it just doesn't stop. We're looking at frame rates <laughs> up to 120 frames per second. So you thought the X was strong? Ability variable refresh rate. Right. Next gen ray tracing. It's real time because it's hardware accelerated for the first time ever. What I I'm personally most excited about is the SSD. We've created a new generation of SSDs. We're actually using the SSD as virtual RAM. We're seeing more than 40 times performance increases over the current generation. The combination of the SOC and the solid state drive are really what gives you a totally new experience. Now we can take all of that power and apply it back into the scene. So we can actually generate more life in that world and bring it to the gamer in a seamless way. So that then you're fully experiencing what the game developer wants you to experience. When you can move through worlds without waiting for screens to load, that speed, that performance is what the next generation is about. This is the most immersive concept experience ever. Okay. What we really want to do is give developers the power to build the game they've always envisioned. 
We have hundreds Xbox of people across the board, two, our first party studios as well as our third party Xbox studios working on the next generation experiences today. I wonder what they're going to call their next content. one. Xbox, Xbox Scarlet studios. actually sounds cool, studios, but seven in the I don't think they year. use that. That's a big family. At 343, for us it's always about more seamless worlds with the next generation. We can bring the world to life in a way we've never experienced Halo before. We're delivering four generations of content better than you've ever seen them before. This console is especially awesome for Game Pass members. With the faster load time, you're going to be able to experience all the games. So that, game that just gotta sell that games. Game Pass. We're giving gamers the option to connect across devices and across platforms in a way that we never were able to before. This isn't just a console launch. This is about the future of gaming. Your games, your achievements, your progression, your accessories, your console gaming experience with Xbox, it all comes forward with Scarlet. Project Scarlet. Wow, next it year. Eats monsters for breakfast. 2020 is the date. This is Project Scarlet, the most powerful and highest performing console we've ever designed. Built for creators to unleash their boldest creative visions and optimized for players to enjoy the ultimate gaming experience on a console anywhere. Immersive experiences begin at the very heart of the console, at the silicon level itself. Together with our partners at AMD, we have co-engineered and custom designed a state-of-the-art processor for Project Scarlet. Nice. Custom made. Power you could see define previous generations. Power and performance you can see and feel defines Project Scarlet. When we talk about freedom to play, when we talk about Xbox in the cloud, when we talk about streaming your games, Project Scarlet and all of its power and all of its performance is the foundation of our future in console and the formation of our future in cloud. We launched Xbox 18 years ago with the game reviewers called the definitive reason to own an Xbox. Well, because humanity was and is worth saving, next holiday, we will launch Project Scarlet with Halo. The Halo, baby. Talk about not coming out with no games. 343, three, y'all got plenty of time to clean this up. That's big time. It's gonna have Halo as a launch title? Shit. Stuck there for a minute, huh? Who's that? Did the chief show up? 
Still looking clean. Looks like the main power cells are fried. Auto shut down. Triggering survival mode. I'm going to try to override. Okay. If you can hear me in there, I hope you're ready. Please don't die. Please. Ah, that life bar, baby. Yes! 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 We're going home! <laughs> oh, welcome back, Chief. I rerouted what needle power I had into your suit. Hmm. Looks like there's a problem with the servos in your hands. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. I know I saw something in here to check your honor's diagnostics. Oh, easy there, big guy. You're not. Status report. Status report? What? There's something you need to see, Chief. Huh. What you guys thought about that post down below we'll catch you around all right looks like it's gonna be a compilation of everything that they showed e3 let me know what you guys thought of it post down below if you guys made it to the end hey I do reaction videos on all different kinds of stuff please come back please sub please hit the bell we're making changes out here, all right? Have a good one.